Tennessee. Huh, huh, huh. Okay. I'll make this quick. 122 years ago, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle gave birth to a character. He was probably the first superhero. He was a, an intellectual superhero. And uh, he was also the first Western martial artist, I'm told. Mm. This is so fun. I love you guys so much. This is really and probably one of the most recognizable images, icons, names on earth. So much that a lot of people actually think or thought, for the most part, that Sherlock Holmes was a real guy. I'd like to counter what Josh Brolin said, which is, um, I think the studios are giving me too much credit, thinking I'm smart enough to play this guy, but they cast me anyway. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, you know, there's been a myriad TV shows and uh, films and series done on Sherlock Holmes, but it really, I, I, I was scratching my head and go, I can't believe this hasn't been brought back into mainstream nowadays, like if I was at Comic-Con and they said they were reinvigorating Sherlock Holmes and they were going to do a, a trilogy or something about that, I'd be blown away. I thought, why hadn't they figured it out till just yet? Casting. <laughs> and Guy Ritchie at the helm, because what we have in Guy Ritchie is a badass gentleman, Englishman, who understands um, how to reinvigorate something like this. Um, we have the ever-delectable and seriously gifted Rachel McAdams playing Irene Adler, the only woman that ever worked Sherlock like a rib. And, of course, Jude Law as Watson. I cannot wait for you to see some footage of Sherlock Holmes. Do you want to see a couple minutes of Sherlock Holmes footage? Joel Silver. And Lionel Wigram. Robert's co-star in the film, Rachel McAdams. to the stage, Robert Downey Jr. Well, I guess that played all right. Okay, can we talk a little bit about how you came to make a Sherlock Holmes movie? <laughs> how was the, the, yeah, um, two. Well, I've been a fan of uh, Sherlock Holmes since I started reading the other, other stories as a kid. Um, my dad read them to me originally when I was about nine years old. And uh, I always thought it'd be great to make a Sherlock Holmes movie. And uh, I tried for several years. I could never figure out exactly how to do it. And uh, I, when I became a producer, I, I, I reread uh, all the stories and I realized that there was a new way to do Sherlock. So uh, I... Uh, I made a comic book, uh, which, uh, which was really a way to show, again, how cool and fun Sherlock could be, and how, as a character, the brilliance of Conan Doyle is that he's as modern as a, char a character uh, as he was back when he was originally created. He, he applies as much to today as, as he did when he, when he was originally created. I brought it to Warner Brothers, and, and, we, started, and we went from there. And then jo Joel and Susan got involved, and Robert and Rachel, and, uh, and Guy, and, and we've made this wonderful movie, which uh, hopefully you guys will love when you see it. It's really great. I mean, uh, Danny really is genius in this role. I mean, he's genius in every role. But, uh, but he, he really made it uh, come to life and 
and he and Jude and Rachel and Guy made a fantastic movie. And uh, Lionel and Susan, we worked behind the scenes to make it great, and we hope you love it. Oh, they covered it. You guys heard the story. Hopefully you like the movie. Well, aside from the Conan Doyle canon, Sherlock Holmes has probably been pastiched more than any other character in literature. He's been all over the world in time. Robert, in your take on this character, can you talk a little bit about how you developed Sherlock? Sure. Um, well, as you know, I'm a very serious method actor. <laughs>